recall the virtual work integral, which is an integral that gives the volume between the real and virtual bending moment diagrams. And generally, for bending moment diagrams that are linear, the equation of this bending moment diagram, which has a slope of the rise over run to mb minus ma over the length, and multiply by x, which we take from the left, and adding ma gives us the equation for the real bending moment diagram. And we can get a similar equation for the virtual bending moment diagram. So the equation is ma virtual plus the slope of this line. That would be the rise mbv minus mav on L multiplied by x. And if we take this element here as having a width dx, and by substituting these equations in the virtual work integral, and integrating over the length, you obtain this general expression, which gives the volume between two trapezia. So for example, this might look something like this. So this here is MA, and this here is MB. And similarly for the virtual bending moment diagram, it looks something like this. So you have MA virtual and MB virtual. And these bending moment diagrams have a length L. So the volume between these diagrams is given by this equation. And this is quite simple to remember as L on 6 EI and you have the real bending moments at A and B factored out. And here you have 2 MA virtual plus MB virtual. And in the second bracket you have MA virtual plus 2 MB virtual. Now a simple case is if we want to obtain a volume between two triangular bending moment diagrams. So for that special case, MA is 0 and MAV is 0. So therefore, the deflection given by this equation is L on 6 EI multiplied by MB, which is real, and that's multiplied by 2 MBV, which is virtual. So that gives MB by MB virtual by L on 3 EI. So here the volume enclosed by two linear bending moment diagrams is the volume of a pyramid. And you can obtain similar cases. So for example, if the virtual bending moment diagram is rectangular, then this becomes a rectangle and then you're effectively obtaining the volume of a wedge. So in that case you still have MA is 0, but MAV is equal to MBV. And therefore you obtain a deflection is equal to L on 6 EI, MB, and that's multiplied by MBV, where we said MAV equal to MBV, and then plus 2 MBV. So that gives 3 on 6, and we obtain the real by the virtual, by the length, on 2 EI. So you can see that this wedge here has half the volume of a rectangular prism. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.